Before we get into this video, I just want to quickly mention how close we are to 100,000 subscribers. Yesterday, we gained like 700 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. In fact, I think we gained more than 700. I think we gained like 900. It's mental. We are now less than 2,200 away. That is honestly shocking, and I'm getting so excited. I'm, I'm shocked, and I'm so excited. I am so grateful for all the support you guys have shown me. Really, I'm like, it's all, I'm getting borderline emotional at this. This has been my goal since the start of YouTube. So to be this close, I am so grateful. So if you guys could subscribe and help me towards that goal, it genu genuinely would mean the absolute world. So, uh, and we just gained a sub. I, I, <laughs> let's get into the video. No, I really do appreciate that, guys. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Let's get into the video. Today, we are talking about division rivals. Now, last year... Uh, EA Access came out on a Wednesday night. It came out on September 19th, Wednesday, um, and it allowed people to play pretty much like, I think we had to play like 20 games or something like that, close to about 20 games to actually get Division Rival points to be able to get Division Rival rewards. And as you can see, we got Division Rivals rank one rewards on Division 5. Um, this was published on September 20th, the very first Thursday after, um, knowing that at 9 a.m. we'd get rewards. I just grinded it out. And, uh, and this is Division 5 rank one rewards that we got. Um, so you can either get 58,000 coins, you can get two Jumbo Premium Gold Packs and two, I think, think it was like prime gold players packs um or you could get yourself um four 15ks and two oh it's rare players packs wow i don't think it was rare players packs so it's either, you get four 15ks and two rare players packs wow um so you actually get really decent rewards for div 5 um and we got this obviously you see it's uh it's non-shaven me that's what i look like when i'm not shaven and wearing a ridiculous hat all right no one say my hat's ridiculous right now. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about Division Rival Rewards. So, uh, I want to initially talk to you guys about, first of all, uh, getting Division Rival Rewards and stuff like that. So, um, obviously, EA Access comes out on a Thursday this year. Um, however, we could get a soft release on the Wednesday. So, make sure you are vigilant and make sure you are paying attention on Wednesday. Because if we do get uh, we get the, the soft release on the Wednesday, you can easily get Rank 1 Rewards for Thursday. Um, it's always uh, in concurrent. Uh, is it in concurrent that I'm looking for? I'm trying to think of the word I'm looking for. It's, it's always like relative. So, for example, if there's 20 people on the game, reward points will be relative to 20 people being on the game. So it won't be like ridiculously high. It won't be unachievable. It will be relative to 20 people being on the game at the same time. Um, and then if the soft patch is out, the, the points won't be that high. It'll be pretty easy to attain. It'll probably be like five or six wins and then a couple of losses or draws. Um, so it won't be difficult to attain uh, Division One. Uh, sorry, Division Rank 1 Rival Rewards. Now, I want to actually talk to you guys about what I ended up getting in my packs now. Uh, as you can see, we, we got ourselves two rare players packs oh wow we actually got we got so many packs what the hell okay let's actually see what packs we got so we got two rare players packs four 15ks and two mega packs this is obviously from uh from untradeable but that is ridiculous so we actually got eight packs and then two uh sorry 195 champions qualifications points that is crazy. That is actually crazy. That's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, packs we got there. Um, now I don't remember packing a walkout, but we did pack a few decent plays. Obviously, the game was a little bit glitched at the time, uh, given it was a soft release. But we got like, a couple of boards here. I think we got Latan, who at the time was quite expensive. But this is the time right here, the first uh, rivals, where you want to pack. If you can get, like, for example, uh, decent tradable or untradable rewards, uh, you want to hold on to a bunch of players here because players tend to rise throughout the year. So at the time, around September 20th, he was around uh, 5,000 on PlayStation. Now, as the game came out, like, he dropped towards the, the release of the game. But as the game came out, he started to rise more and rise more for SBCs. This card has peaked at, what, 20,000 coins? And it's been 20,000 coins multiple times. Um, so realistically, if you hold on to that card, there isn't many SBCs at the start of the year. You have a 20,000 coin value card when it comes to it, when you need an 85 for SBCs. And we're just talking about the normal 85 raids Latan. Like, it, for rival rewards... It, it wasn't obviously amazing, but it's not bad at all. Um, I think I got a couple of 85s in this as well, if I if I remember correctly. Um, and if you ask me, like, playing those games, I, I want to see what my record was because I did not play a lot of games. I played what? I played... Uh, eight, nine. I played 16 games and got myself these packs. Now, obviously, I didn't pack anything amazing, but you could pack incredible stuff. I saw people pack icons in their untradable rival reward videos on the first 
uh, day. On the first, literally the first day, on the first, on the Thursday, uh, the 20th, on the first rewards ever, they got icons in their untradeable rival rewards. And uh, I'm telling you now, right, like, it's worth it. It's 100% worth it to play the games to get yourself the rival rewards. Now, we haven't seen any correspondence from EA at all regarding rewards. They haven't said anything about rewards. There's the other 85. It is Falcao over here. Um, EA have said absolutely nothing about rewards. They haven't given us any correspondence whatsoever if we are going to be getting the same reward structure, a different reward structure, uh, better rewards, worse rewards. But given the success of division rivals and foot champions rewards this year, I think that EA will keep a very similar structure, if not the exact same structure, because it makes no sense to change it. And given that they haven't said anything about it, we probably will have the exact same structure as well. Um, I can see EA literally keeping it the exact same. And like I said, given that we haven't actually had any kind of uh, incline or inkling, sorry, that it will be changed, uh, most likely it will stay the same. EA do like the current reward structure. They like how it's done. They like what the structure of it is right now. So I can see EA keeping it the exact same, um, which is totally understandable. To give you some examples, this was a couple of months in the game and you will see what I pack in just a second. This was posted on November the 15th. Therefore, I think... The game technically comes out just at the end of September, so October. It's like a month and a half into the game, um, and it was like a 600,000 coin plus value card, which is just incredible. Um, and this is why I'm 100% backing untradeable rewards at the start of the game, picking, uh, sorry, making the choice to, instead of actually spending a lot of time on, for example, SBCs, which a lot of people do, a lot of people get on the game straight away and spend loads of time on SBCs, I would personally advise playing games and getting rewards straight away, that's my personal advice, because I think this is more worth it, and then doing SBCs after, or doing SBCs when you're too tired to play more games, because this is what a lot of reward uh, weeks looked like for myself and a lot of other people this year, so for example, we got Buffon in this pack, um, this is what it tend to look like every single, every single week for a lot of people, was getting at least one walkout, getting some high rated cards, making SBCs cheaper, getting untradeable cards with loyalty to help with certain hybrid and nations and league SBCs and stuff like that, really. Um, so that's why, in my opinion, these were 100% uh, more worth it to, to grind the games. Like I said, like 20 games and a night. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's not that much. Um, and if we keep the exact same reward structure, which I'm guessing we'll get some kind of pitch notes about within the next week or two, uh, just before the game comes out, it should be decent. I'm hoping that um we keep the same foot champs reward structure as well i'd like to hear your comments down below do you prefer this year's uh, foot champs reward structure or last year's foot champs reward structure i am personally a bigger fan of this year's reward structure i think that having the uh, weekly player picks is way better than the monthly rewards in my opinion um you at least get to pick your players and you get them every week it means that you can miss weeks and it won't be a big problem uh so and by the way we got neymar i was honestly over the, the moon with this. It was unreal. Neymar in, in rival rewards. This card was 600k. One of the most meta players in the game. One of the most used players in the game. Absolutely crazy. So yeah, I think I prefer this year's because last year with, with monthly rewards, you really couldn't. Uh, when I say this year, I mean FIFA 19 still because FIFA 20 technically isn't out yet. Uh, last year's FIFA 18 rewards with monthlies, you couldn't miss a, a week in the month to then get you get terrible monthlies if you missed one week. Whereas this week, uh, sorry, this year, you can miss as many weeks as you want and still get decent high rated uh, red picks if you're lucky. So, yeah. But um, but this is why I am an avid... Uh, I, I just think that uh, division rival rewards are worth grinding towards, especially at the start of the game, because they're just... You can achieve stuff like that, and it's just, it's unreal. It's absolutely unreal to achieve stuff like that. So that, that's personally my opinion, um, and these were in rank uh, 2 rewards for Division 2, I think. I think these are Div 2 rank 2 rewards, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it, it, it's pretty crazy to get this kind of look in these kind of rewards. Uh, we then went on to get Deli Alley, another 84, which is, of course, nice. Adding to the 84s for SBCs and stuff like that. It's just, it really is worth it. Now, this screenshot has just surfaced. I've just seen it from FootSpy. Um, and it says that Origin Access Premiere release date is September 18th at 11 a.m. EDT. I don't know uh, what time EDT is compared to uh, to GMT right now. Let's have a look. So EDT is uh, EDT. Is that Eastern time? So EDT is four hours behind us. So for example, if it's 11 a.m. on the 7th, September 18th in uh, EDT, it will be uh, 3 p.m. UK time or GMT I think we're still in GMT. We're 100% still in GMT. I don't know why I'm even questioning that. So um, it could be that that's when uh, EA Access will be soft released and that they've just uh, put 
this screenshot up or, or put this this correspondence up on on uh, origin access to, to sort of let people know i'm not entirely sure um but if that's the case then you can easily get yourself rewards for the next day whether this is real or not i have no idea however it could add to uh to the narrative i'm trying to push of, of people grinding towards uh division rival rewards this is the division rival rewards i had actually the week after ignore my record it was just absolutely abysmal i don't even want to talk about it <laughs> but this is the Div division rival rewards i had after uh the the ones you just saw um this is on t september 27th so this is the week after uh early access uh this is on the full game as you can see uh and we actually got two walkouts in this which again is like it's very very good and uh it will help obviously with sbcs i actually remember this specifically because i completed i think it was um the first first two bits of the first ever icon uh you know how we got like the icon groups where we got player picks this year um i actually completed the first ever two groups of that simply just with rewards that i got from from division rivals uh this cooler barley helped and i think i got a, a higher rated i uh, sorry uh it was a high rate walkout um no it was a low rate i got matic as well as you guys can see here so uh again like just playing the game you get free rewards it's 100 percent worth it to grind the game out for the first couple of weeks definitely um and, and you know people will tell you that they want they want to do spcs or marquee matchups or squad battles and stuff like that i think it's probably more worth it to do this in the squad battles um i think i think uh, you definitely want to grind this out. But I think just try and play as many games as you can, really. Get yourself a starter squad and just grind out games because you make a lot of coins through games as well. So, And a lot of people think the catalog is disappearing for FIFA 20. That's not true. The catalog will be there. So you will be able to get, you know, your coin increases and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. Um, and Goretzka, by the way, was selling for like 40k at the time and I had a tradable one. So I sold the tradable one. Had like, this, this pack was worth nearly 100k because I had Rashford in it. Goretzka, uh, Skriniar. I had a lot of coins in it. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys get some really good rival rewards. I thought it'd be great just to revisit and sort of talk about and push a narrative and stuff like that. So, uh, and I'm very grateful for you guys' support. Obviously we're so close to 100K and I'm so excited. You know what's really crazy is that this video was posted the day after I hit 50,000 support. Oh, sorry, uh, th this, is, this, is, uh, th this is the day before, sorry, that we hit 50,000 subscribers. On September 27th last year, we we were so close. I think we actually hit, I think we hit 50k on September 29th. I think we hit 50,000 subs on September 29th, and we are 2,200 away from 100,000, which is absolutely crazy. So I'm so grateful for that. Thank you all for your epic support. Thank you all for being here, being part of the journey. I really appreciate that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.